A Viking house. The posts from a Viking house are marked out in cement in the grass. The long walls of the house were curved and two rows of posts inside supported the roof. The walls consisted of planks set vertically in the ground and the roof may have been made of roofing shingles. Outside, slanting posts shored up the house, which had a fireplace at its west end. This type of house was common in Viking villages and especially in Viking fortress such as Fierkat and Augersburg. The house stood here at the end of the 900s. By then, people had stopped using the burial ground for interment. At that time, the inhabitants were Christians and buried their dead in the consecrated ground of a churchyard. Battling the sand drifts. Throughout prehistory, Lim Fjord remained an important thoroughfare for travelers to and from the Nordic countries. In the Viking Age, the fjord was also the departure point for raids to England and the rest of Europe. The ships of the time could easily sail up Linden Stream to Linden Hoy, close to the stream. The sandy soil here was easy to farm, but also vulnerable to sand drifts. Several times a year, strong storms devastated the area, threatening the crops in the fields and meadows where the animals grazed. By around 1100, the sand had drifted so badly that Lind Lindholm Hoy 
was deserted. As sand covered the stones, interest in the area waned until the end of the 1800s. The ancient monument was listed in 1901 and excavated in the in 1950s. The excavations are on display at Lindenholm Hoy Museum. This plaque is hard to read. It's put here to commemorate the uh, discovery, the archaeological discovery of the site. It's written in uh, Danish.
grave site covered by sand. Lindhaven has been a final resting place for almost 600 years. The oldest graves are from the 400s and the youngest are from the Viking Age in the 900s. The oldest graves are at the top of the grave area while the youngest are at the lower edge. Throughout prehistoric times, Lind Fjord remained an important thoroughfare for travelers to and from the Nordic countries. In the Viking Age, the fjord was also the departure point for raids to England and the rest of Europe. In those days, ships could easily sail up Lindholm Stream to Lindholm Haven. The sandy soil here was easy to farm, but also vulnerable to sand drifts. In about 1100, the sand had drifted so badly that Lindholm Hoy was deserted. Sand covered the stones until the ancient monument was protected in 1901 and excavated in the 1950s. Yeah, that's a good hit, that's that's not.